Zemio is a small town in the east of Central African Republic. It's a stunning area, really, really tropical, with lots of trees and red earth. In April 2010, there was a lot of displacement there due to violence caused by the Lord's Resistance Army, or the LRA. A number of villages had been attacked. We first went in with just a box of drugs and we started treating patients immediately. When I first arrived, the health situation was really bad. There were so many people who had been sick for a number of days, but because they'd been fleeing from the LRA and had been hiding in the bush, they were coming into the hospital at a very late stage of their illness. I spent a lot of time just talking to the IDPs. They told me that they would wake up in the night hearing loud gunfire and large groups of men running out of the forest with guns. In the hospital, we started very, very basic. The main morbidity was malaria, and the others were diarrheal disease and lower respiratory tract infection. So basically, the big three diseases. When we opened an inpatient department, we began seeing much more of the chronic issues in the community, things like big wounds and also a number of patients with HIV-related illness. The population of Zemio was exceedingly welcoming to the IDPs, but day-to-day life was really hard for them. Water and sanitation was very difficult. There was overloading on all services. So it took the IDPs about two months to settle into their camps because they had to wait for the correct season to get grass to make the roofs of their huts. From community meetings, we know that the main issue is the lack of possibility to work. This causes huge stress and worry because they've lost their farms and they can't afford to buy food and to provide for their families. The displaced people and refugees don't want to stay in Zemio. It's not where their land is, it's not their home. But they're afraid to go back in case there's more violence.